Okay, people. I have our sub. I have an, expl an explanation. Sorry, let me take off my protective gear. Right, that's not something you want to hear, is it? Let me take it off. Um, I have an explanation for you. So this will be our sub. All right, it's got water in it. That's our ballast. This is a fish tank. Okay. It automatically found level, didn't it? I just threw it in there. We need to add weights to go down to the bottom. As we go to the bottom, we get pressure on the hull, starting to put pressure on it. The carbon fiber resists that pressure. As they release the weights, the subsurface is at the rate of 50, 50 meters a minute, I think they have it as. Something like that. Now, this is the short version video. So, we have the end caps. You can call this sealed off, right? There's nothing getting in there. It's sealed off. On one, I need to explain that, the, 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 the bolt failure I'm on one end, why it's so clean. And I can only get that through like a mortar thinking or a, um, or a uh, mortar round or claymore mine, directional forces. All right, it, it goes that way. And it leaves, it's, at such great speed that it's able to shear the bolts and leave this behind. Okay. Now, you got to put up a little noise in the background for a second. So I grabbed another model. This model has, let me zoom out. It's just empty and it's going to have air connected to it. Okay. And you're going to see what happens is if, the, if the back of this was connected. There's some connections here, right on the very back. They're connected with the, we, as we know how it's connected. And when I the sudden charge of air pressure coming in is going to make this scoot away, isn't it? So there's your air, your pressure coming in. Let's talk about that for a minute. For everybody who thinks it's it's uh, 12 million pounds of pressure on this, etc. You know, talks about that theoretical numbers you have to remember that if this as this as this pressure as the pressure gets inside it's also equal pressure out here it just can't glide through there it's the same pressure all around it so as you get a crack in the hull um, the pressure is still around it you just didn't automatically cause an implosion there's still some forces around it but you created a weak point that wants to make it implode but you have a, a charge of pressure. And the pressure we're talking about, to be clear, is, is a water pressure. And there's air inside this chamber. So that chamber becomes energized also as it, as it, as it blows off the back end of it. So I'm going to give this a shot of air. Hopefully I got the right PSI. And you're going to pretend like it's mounted here. So the failure would be in the back area to make it be able to skid, get away from the skids. Okay, that was that was a failure. Hold on, I'm connected. No, I'm not. Here we go. Okay, here we go. So it's connected to the skids in the back, and then the the, the, the failure is in the rear. That's how I can get that skid to be so perfect. That thing blasted off. And there it is over there. I'm sorry, you, you blast it off. That would be how explosive it is. I would need that force to rip off the the uh, the back of the column, which you just observed. 